Welcome back to Boy Band Break, where we encourage you to take a break from your day and join us in some boy band conversation. As always, my name is Diane. I'm Chinzia. I'm Sophia. And I'm Lydia, a.k.a. Mama Lou. All right, we got a birthday this week from 98 Degrees on February 25th. Chinzia's favorite person. <laughs> Justin Jeffrey is 47. Justin. Happy birthday, Justin. Happy birthday. Even though it's a first name Shinzi doesn't like, you're welcome. That is true. That is true. I prefer you over the other Justins in boy bands. So moving along. Good job. So. Good job. Yes. Um, Anything interesting happened like two weeks ago? Backstreet News? Yes. Yes. We're going on tour? Okay, well, Lydia's not. We'll, <laughs> we'll, we'll get Lydia tickets eventually. Uh, no, but, no, it's fine. It's fine. Don't worry. Uh, yeah, yes, so the Backstreet Boys announced their uh, DNA second leg tour uh, for North America, and including Canada. We got a bunch of dates here as well, which is part Four of North America. Four dates in Canada? Two, two Toronto, Montreal, and Quebec Ottawa. City. No. There's no Ottawa. Ottawa. Sorry, Quebec City and oh, Vancouver. Oh, and Vancouver. Okay, fine. I believe. They didn't, they're not hitting up Alberta this time so far. Um, but yeah. Cool. Good job. Usually when they do second legs, they kind of go to different cities, but I guess not. So They are going to some different places. Yeah, they're just true. mad because they're not going to Hamilton. They're not coming to Hamilton. Come on, man. Fine, but they're, uh, they're, they're they switched the venue of where they went last time. So last time was Scotia Bay Arena. Now it's Budweiser Stage, which used to be the most amphitheater. So um, it all depends on who spends the most money at that time. It's yeah, like, so I'm naming they, it after me. So it's in September. So we are going to that. So after my birthday, you know. Woo. Woo. That's totally not why, but it's uh, also and a tiff. In a week. shocking turn of events, this is not going to be Ticketmaster Sucks, the sequel. What? Everything went Very ridiculously smoothly. smoothly. Wow. Blah, 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 what blah, blah, blah. happened? I don't know. Maybe I, because I, the prices were so high. I put let's it. Let's not speak about that. But. Let's not speak about the prices. Um, mm. That could be the reason. I said it on Twitter. I'm like... The Ticketmaster gods smiled down on us on that day. Yes. Well, we did the fan club presale, so they didn't have those stupid official platinum resale tickets that Ticketmaster does. So when the actual real on sale happened, they Mm. did do that, Mm. but it wasn't as drastic as it's been in the past. And you know what? Like the last time, the tickets were okay, maybe not as expensive, but still pretty expensive. Yeah. Like, similar pricing. Okay, yeah. And it would be like, you would click on it, and then it would disappear, and then double in price. Yes. And this did I not know. happen it this time. It did not time. happen this time, so good. that's good. Interesting. So we got tickets for uh, the Friday Toronto show, and then they ended up, uh, because that was that sold out, they've added a Saturday show mm, as well. Nice. Uh, for that one, we're going to be patient, and we're going to wait, and we're going to s- get closer to the day and get yes. to My tickets. favorite part of the Friday one is that it sold out before it actually went on sale. So yes, <laughs> nice. That was very nice. interesting. Oh, the, the pre-sale tickets Almost sold out, but tea. obviously yes. But uh, good times, <laughs> and uh, we're also going to Darien Lake, which Woo-hoo. also happens to be the same time as the Fringe Festival. So oh. you're gonna, you're, I thought you emailed. Um, I forgot to email. Oh, them, what so. are we? Oh, uh, is it? Are we out? Are we're we not out, out of the just French for festival. that day. No! Just for that day. I'm just going to ask them to not <laughs> schedule us any shows, and it's a Saturday, so I'm sure they'll be happy not to give us a show on a Saturday. Okay. Everybody wants the Saturday. I or you know you could just bail on the whole thing. No, but then I lose <laughs> out I on my mean? like your deposit? deposit. How much was the How deposit? Much the deposit? I don't know. It doesn't matter. Anyways, we're doing the French Festival. It's fine. Everything so is yay, wonderful. three shows. Oh my god! Wow. Yes. Good so. times. Good times. Um, anything? I'm else in a great mood. Out? No. Um, <laughs> you sure you're going to change? <laughs> what? You're like, I'm in a great mood. What, what kind of change was that? Are you okay? I'm just saying, in a shocking turn of events, we, did well. we yeah. bought tickets and I am in a fantastic mood. Oh, instead okay. of yeah. I was like, what is she I thought she was like sarcastic. Us? Like, I'm in a great mood. But yeah. you're, you're actually no, legitimate. They didn't, they didn't put any mood. VIPs up yet. So I think they're kind mm. of working. They, oh, they have this bizarro package for certain cities, which of course includes Toronto as well, that if you would like... Um, Two tickets, two meet and greets, and a hotel room or something. It's like twenty five hundred dollars. Oh, like no, ain't nobody got you. time for no. that. And it's funny because depending on the city, the prices range. So that was the other thing was a little bit strange. The price ranges were pretty. Um, it, like they the really, US, I guess, seemed lower. No. Yes. No, so like, it really depended on city. I think they tracked. Uh, where the tickets sold well last time and how well they sold, and then 
base their prices off of what do I think people will pay for oh, these tickets? Oh, the demand. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. High, High demand. demand. Because, yes. like, Kentucky... Lexington oh my was God. super cheap. And we were just like farting around, like checking around. Like, oh, where else could we go? We're like, oh, maybe this day. And then we saw them. We're like, oh. but then we tried to get them and there was not any available. And they'll come kept... back if we really want them. So whatever. It, it is what it is. I think we're good with what we got. You know what, yes, though? And you know what else good. I was thinking after? Don't stab the microphone. Um, <laughs> is, guys, we don't have to like get any hotel rooms I all know, of these shows yes. are within like a two Travel hour radius distance. of where we yes. live so just saving the money Woo-hoo. Just, it's it's Woo. like it's basically like we're making money <laughs> at this point much. it's coming from the sky <laughs> it's really not He's like God. i do not believe this <laughs> but <laughs> that's not how budgeting works but okay no, I'm just I'm be, I'm being I'm being ridiculous, but no, also but like, saving on travel costs. And yeah, travel. Yeah, 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 yeah. For okay. us, we literally are saving money. Hooray! Um, Woohoo! So that's that. Uh, I just wanted to mention that, and yes, yeah, this will not be. We're not going to rant. We're not going to go on and on. We're just going to be happy about our lives. All right. Woo-hoo. Exciting All right. times ahead. Yeah. Something to look forward to because we were in withdrawal. we were just like, there's no concerts to look forward to. We yes. got nothing. What's happening? So and they were like, ah, I'm something. glad they yeah, announced something. And in celebration of that, I thought, what better way to celebrate a new Backstreet Boys tour than to review their first ever album? Woo! Woo! Is it a new tour if it's a second leg of the same tour? Listen. Well, Howie had mentioned that they might switch it up a little bit. So, oh. oh, the other thing is, is that the first time they went on this tour, it was in like larger arenas. So they had that DNA circle stage yes. thing. Yes. This one, because there's a lot of amphitheaters and outdoor th- events, I don't think it's going to be the same. Oh. Um, some of the indoor ones, like the Montreal one and stuff, still has the DNA circle. And then when they updated the um, map for the Toronto show, they put it there but it wasn't hollow in the middle so i'm not sure if they're switching up the state mm. so there might be a couple they might swap in a couple of songs and swap out some other ah, ones okay. should be interesting so to see right yeah. now they're in south america doing their thing Ooh. there so that'll be the same show that we saw ah so that will be the full one there but i think by the time they come back they'll probably be a bit bored so they might switch out some i gotcha okay okay very neat interesting to see which songs they switch out if they do Please don't switch out the one song. Oh, that, that medley was amazing. Ah, I really hope. The end part? Yeah. Those yeah. five songs. <laughs> All right. Aight. So Aight. What was this All album right. called? Well, my friends. This, this there was a there's okay, so we realized something about that I realized something about this that I also realized. I thought was common knowledge and now I'm realizing real blah 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 blah, blah realizing <laughs> maybe is not. It was not for me. So um, I guess depending on where you live, maybe that's why you would know things and not know things. The Backstreet Boys technically have two debut albums. One that they released in Europe and then kind of eventually trickled into Canada. And then one that was released in the United States, which was completely different from the original one. Um, and I didn't realize that everyone didn't know this. And so, to be fair, it's been a long time. I, but I, I don't know. I just, I anyways. didn't know. It's so, but, but and it, to be fair, how would you know? You know, I guess you unless, knew. Yes, Not everyone is like dedi- a dedicated BSB fan. I and was knows that say, all that info. Purple. And uh, <laughs> I talked to him about it. You know that we talked in the car before with, you guys yeah. came in. So not everyone knows all the facts and all the first mm. things that they did. So that's yes. okay. Thanks, buddy. So. Um, when we're ta- when we here in Canada talk about their debut album, we're talking about that one. If you don't know, you can go look it up. It's literally just called Backstreet Boys. It was released in 1996. Uh, it's like the, literally the cover. Everyone calls it the Red Album because the picture on the cover is just a picture of them, but the background is red. Yes, and so uh, everyone calls that one the Red Album, and then. In the States, the album that they got as their, like, debut album is what we would call Backstreet's Back. Yes. Yes. Okay. yes. That was their, that was the first album they got. And that album had a mix of what we have on Backstreet's Back and what we have on that original Red album. Like, they merged the two yes. and I guess just took the best songs. Okay. Um, yes. And then, so technically, the rest of the world outside of the United States has like double the amount of songs that the US got. 
Yeah, because it made no sense because it's like, oh, Backstreet's back. Where did they go? This is the first time we're hearing of them. It's like, but we already knew But they about did them. an original, they, the, when they released that album in the States, they didn't call it Backstreet's Back. They just called it Backstreet Boys again. Oh, oh. Not again. Okay. Just, just literally Backstreet Boys. Backstreet Boys. The one we, we got, got was, back, was back. called Backstreet's oh, Back. Yes. But if you buy that, you know, where they're standing against the white wall trying yes, to look cool. Yes. Um, Love that. It just, if you bought that in the States, it would literally just say Backstreet Boys. Mm. And it has, like I said, a mix of songs like Get Downs on it and We've Got It Going On mm. and I'll Never Break Your Heart, Quit Playing Games. That's all on Backstreet's Back, which is our Backstreet's Back doesn't have any of those songs. No. So it's interesting as I'm just sorry, I'm just looking on the Wikipedia thing. So what I, the Red Album was released in 96 in um, Germany and Canada and all that stuff. So then the one that got released in the States was in 97. Then that one got re-released in 98 with the same track listings, but then they added Backstreet's Back on that one. So the, they got it twice there. In the Pardon? The Say that I'm again? Looking. So the Backstreet Boys album, as you were saying, like was the one. The Red Album? Pretty much. And then it got re-released in 1998, and it was the same track listing, except they added back everybody. They re-released the red one in the States in 1998? Apparently. It says 1998 reissue. Then why do people in America be like, I can't get my hands on this album? No. They re-released this guy. Backstreet's Back? We can't say it's that far away. It's called Backstreet Boys, 1997 Oh, that album. one. Okay, yeah, I understand what you're saying. Ours is called I'll, Backstreet Boys. Ours is called Backstreet's Back. Ours is called Backstreet's Back. All right. Got it. Gotcha. Got it. It's kind of confusing. Understandable we that people got, don't know. We got rewarded for having them break out first. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, so we got more stuff. Anyways. Although I feel like as looking at this track listing, I feel like they either messed up the Canadian version or we had access to both the Canadian and European version. I, I feel uh, listen, like we had them both. I feel like Wikipedia yeah. is wrong because who wrote this? Uh, Probably an American. Oh. They don't know. I don't Touché. know. Interesting. We should crack out our old albums, but yes, I can. There's I, a couple. Uh, there's a little bit of like guys. I 100 percent have this album on cassette tape. I Aww. also that was my first cassette uh, tape. This album uh, we had it on CD form. I well, also I bought it, had uh, it on yeah. CD form, but there was a time in 1996 where I did not have a CD player. I believe I my dad got us one for Christmas, 96. Aww. So when I bought this, I originally just had. A cassette tape. I also just had a cassette tape until is, I bought the album. Is the Backstreet Back a CD? Is that the enhanced CD? Is that the one you can put you into put your it computer? In the computer? I think so. I yeah, I think yeah. so. Yeah. yeah. Remember when they used to do that? Yeah. Good times. Good times. It's real joke. Remember when I had it and I also didn't have a computer? <laughs> Aww. We Tony. were on the ball. Tony and Franco got us computers when we were younger. Yes, from a guy named Yogi Bear. Yogi Bear, remember yes. Yogi Bear? Yes, because that's a that name was, that that's you what I remember. Like. We had to drive to Burlington to get it. Yes. Wow. Really exciting. That's so, not true. We had at one all. of those dot matrix printers that had the little like paper on the side with the little holes. To be fair, I mean, like my dad, even though he's kind of like, well, I guess your dad is the same dad. Yes. Uh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> He was always ahead of technology, which was very strange. Like we were like the first family to have like a GPS. Like, like he yeah, was just. Yes. Like Wonderful. as as lacking as he was, he was also like he was also really ahead of his time. Was he? Kind of. He had a pager. He didn't know how to read or answer the pages, but it was he had it was one. Just, yeah. okay. <laughs> it's interesting. Good job. Interesting man. <laughs> anyways, back okay. to Backstreet on back hand. This album. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. So, anyways, Red album. just to clarify for everyone, now that we've talked for several minutes about all of this, um. The album that we're going to review today is the original Red, Red album as we know it mm. that was released in Canada. I believe there were different versions in like an Australia yes. and maybe Europe, the European Japanese, version UK. was slightly different. It seems like maybe the tracks were just in a different order. But regardless, we're going to talk about it as we know it. And yes, just go from there. this is what we're talking about just so everyone is clear. All right. All righty. All right. We're clear. Released Julia. May 6th, Thank you. 1996. Because <laughs> we knew. Uh, by Jive Records in Germany. It was a success. <laughs> then it got released in Aus Austria and Switzerland and all that jazz. And then we got it. All right. As well. Wonderful. Thanks, YTV. Thanks. Yes, exactly. Thanks, YTV. Yes. They were like pioneers of that. That was the one that. All right, so yeah. as Tradish, we're just going to yeah. go track listing and, <laughs> and read. Can you read <laughs> who made it? I feel like Diane has something, though. Do you right. have? 
I have nothing. Okay, okay Chen, I was, sometimes you don't like I to was, just read the track listing. I only. was told that I did not need to bring up the track listing. Okay, okay. you guys had it. So. Chinzia, okay, I thought you had. All right, take guys. us away, Chinzia. All right, so we're we're planning on the standard edition, is what we're talking about. So track number one, we've got it going on. We've got, got it going on for years. Ah. Uh, Jim Uncle's back, she's got it. Come on now, everybody. We've got it going on for years. Okay. All right, Sorry. so writers, Dennis Pop, Max Woo! Martin, Ooh. and Herbie Critchlow. Go, Herbie. <laughs> Never <laughs> yeah. heard of Herbie. And the producers were obviously Dennis Pop and Max Martin. How come it doesn't mention the guy? Hey, 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 here we come. Here we say Mr. Fun Factory with the That's DC. That's not this song. Oh, my God. That's Get Down. No. <laughs> no. Oh, no. I would like to point out that Lydia's like, I know this album. Oh, oh no. Back to front. She was confident, and then it I, just yeah, went down. I would downhill. also like to point out the God. fact that That's when I was Jesus. listening to this very quickly this morning, um, I don't know the last half of the album, as per usual with my uh, album listening skills. So there you go. That's why they call them deep cuts, man, because yeah. anything okay, on the second you... half of an album, people don't remember for some reason. Okay, so that's why you, when you said deep cuts in the car, I was like, oh, yeah, I know what this means. But I actually had no idea what you meant. <laughs> like, I was just like, I was just like, this is like, wow. You're just it's because you got, you got, nodding, you got, you got, you got to cut deep like, into the <laughs> album to get to it. Oh, you got to get through all the stuff on the top, oh, the skin and the back. Oh, yeah, my God. That makes sense. I was just like, Lydia's I was like, like, yeah, like, yeah, this song yeah, cut yeah, it's so me. deep, so <laughs> deep. It's, it, wow. It's very stabby. Okay. <laughs> very stabby. I'm so sorry, Sophia. Okay. I should have told you sooner. Okay, so okay, we've got it going okay. on. Good song. Good song. Yeah. Was, uh, yeah, Max it's a nice jam. Yeah. Nice jam. They still perform this in concert at times. It's awesome in concert uh, yeah, as they, well. Perf- they, they, this is like one of their big hits. Yes. Um, it didn't do well in the U.S. at first. No, it did not. But Which you know, one was but, the music yeah. video for this one? This is the one where they're praying, you yes. know, with uh, the candles. And they're like, we've been waiting so long. You just can't hold it back no more. Just can't hold it back no more. Oh, my God. <laughs> and then he does the karate kick. Uh, and you're like, yeah. 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 <laughs> I always do the karate the, kick. The sto- what are you doing? That looks like kid. you're doing karate bye kid. bye bye at the moment. No, no not the like in the not karate the flying. Kid. Yeah, not I thought the, the karate kid. I thought around. you were doing the karate. I was like doing kid. the karate. Oh, okay. kid. The this crane? is the one where uh, there's like all monitors of like ladies, and then eventually don't they float out? Nope, that's also get down. Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> this no! one. They're like Lydia wearing, loves no. get down. They're wearing like <laughs> denim and they're like in a convertible, like trying to act cool. Oh, yes, they're, they're like playing town. basketball okay, at one the time. Basketball. It was really hot, so they were. Like and then denim. there's a part where they're Are like they in washing a, rep- a car at one point. Maybe. Yeah, I think no, so. that's no, that's in sync. No, because in sync also has a basketball oh, yeah, one, and they are true. washing the car. Backstreet Boys were never washing the car; they were just sitting they in the car, the car, like oh, being yes. cool in leather and it denim. Has been like, a while yeah. Since this video. Anyways, leather okay. and denim in Florida. Good times. Yes. Um, and then there's a part in the re- recording studio where they're like singing. Oh yes! Oh yes! Oh, you know? yes. Oh, okay, yes, now yes. I remember. Yes. Oh my god! Cool. Wow. Um, Thank you for the corrections, everyone. Thank you for drawing the is, memory. Is the beginning of that video though that like clip that they show all the time where they're they're like all standing there and then they're like, "Hi, I'm AJ McLean and yes. I'm like 14 years old or however old he was at the time." And oh, like, blah, blah, and they're blah. wearing those leather jackets. I don't know. Yes. what they're wearing but it's like a very it's common like clip that room. they use like all the time mm. and I believe the beginning hi, of the Nick. <laughs> hi, hi I'm Nick and I'm 13 I know you're so cute and little yes so okay cool so we enjoy this song yeah. I think it's good jam it's good jam. Great jam they've got it going on All right, for awesome. years they weren't lying no yeah. they weren't yeah, that's true. they going were not lying strong. about having it going on for years mm-hmm. thanks some odd years later alright cool so second track Anywhere for you. I go anywhere for you. Anywhere you ask me to, which we do. do anything for anything. <laughs> yeah, you know. Yeah. Okay, but yeah. for some reason, I thought this song was like at the end of the CD. Well, okay, and this is why. Whatever. So I, I, I honestly think Wikipedia. that Wikipedia is wrong because if you look at another listing, right? Well, it is lower down. On uh, this one, it actually is crap. Um, sorry, sorry. Yes, sorry. Sorry, guys. That's Josh calling, so I've hung up on him. Okay, cool. <laughs> As have I. I Anyways. I turned off my ringer. 
Uh, anyways, um, I'm looking at the Canadian version track listing on Wikipedia, and uh, it's not even on here. But we definitely we had, had this, this song, song. Yeah, we definitely on this so album. I think that this is wrong. So because I, like I said, this was the first. Like I remember having this cassette tape and putting it in my Walkman yes. and like <laughs> sitting outside yeah. and listening to it. And I remember this song. So like a hundred percent. I remember it being like at the end of it. Yeah, and I, I thought it was it like was a secret track. I thought. I don't know if Maybe it was a not. secret track, but okay. it was probably at the end. I remember it being yeah. at the end. But okay, let's well, just regardless. Okay. On the Canadian version, it says number 11 is enhanced section. So, so maybe, maybe it was that's in there. Was. I don't know. Enhanced All right, section. So, anyways, so <laughs> Anyway for You, written by Gary Baker and Wayne Perry and produced by Velt Ren. Okay. All right. Nice. Cool. Velt, it was very good. <laughs> All right. So, yeah. Good, good yeah, song. Yeah, good good song. Beautiful. Song. Oh, and like, they made uh, a video for this one as well. Ballady. Uh, was on the beach. Really? Was on the beach. Oh. on a beach? I yeah. For that. anywhere for you. Really? Yeah. I don't recall that at all. Shame, well, it was a long time ago. So. <laughs> yes. Wow. Back to my day. I go anywhere for you. Though, this, we might have not, like, I feel like either they recorded that video or released this song only in Europe. And so, like, maybe we didn't oh, get maybe. it as a single, so you wouldn't have seen it. Oh, maybe. Um, because I remember people being like, oh, Anywhere For You is, uh, is like, whatever. Like, later on in life, well, like, there's a music video. And I was like, uh, no, there's not. And they were like, yeah, there is. And I was like, okay, why did we never get this? So I feel like either mm-hmm. they released this song, like, right before um, we would have gotten, like, they would have broken in, like, in Canada. Or they released it, like, as the last well, according uh, to Wikipedia, single. it Anywhere for You was the last single released from oh, this okay. album. So, ah, it was released ah, February my 24th, assumption was correct. 97. Yes. So it came out at the end of February 1997. Yeah. So mm-hmm. I think what was happening at that time is we were already transitioning c- because we were behind and getting things like later from Europe. Yeah. We didn't have time to get that one. They yeah. were just like skip that, go straight to Backstreet's back. back. Yeah. 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 True, true. Yeah. Well, it's a good song. Got good it. Song. I like it. All right. Now, Lydia, this is the one that you like. So it is <laughs> Get Down, get Brackets, down. You're oh, the One for Me. Oh, God. I'm sorry. Get down, get down, and move it all around. Okay, quick question this before. This is a song. ball, baby. Before we get into all of this. Um, yeah. Is this song about blowjobs? No, it's oh. about... Oh, Damn, I never thought of that. I thought it was Um, more... Someone brought that up to me later in life. And I was move like, it all around. <gasps> They're like you, something mm-hmm. about on your knees. Tastes so I sweet. I thought they were just oh, dancing. Oh, maybe. Oh my god. I oh guess you no. could if you think about it. What? Wow. Wait, wait. Because we because like, who's okay, blowjob like, and who though? B four four is very well, obvious. I would assume so, you're giving them okay, a blowjob. Okay, job. hold on. Your lips that taste so sweet. How do you know that? Oh. Oh no. Okay, no, never mind. Forget I it. Th- no. I want to say no. My childhood. Say no. And because it maybe it's because around. your friend was like, "Get down" is like before four. If you get down, if on you me, get down on me, which I is very clearly me. about oh, yeah. blowjobs. Yes. That one. 100%. Well, maybe they were getting confused. Maybe they. These guys are just partying. They're getting down. They're dancing. Although, if I recall correctly, they're getting correct. down on the dance floor. Like yeah. yes. Okay. To be fair, I'm mama. I should be. I should be on your side. But this was the '90s. That's what people did, said. Did people say, "Oh, I'm going to go to the club and get down"? Yes, like, they did. I don't think I perhaps guess. the writers, <laughs> Boulent <laughs> Aris and Tony Coltura, were thinking that. Who were also the producers? Maybe that did not. Maybe okay. They, and there's okay, also I'm, do, I'm doing a lyric look up. All right. Okay. There's also the "I want it that way" factor, where a lot of these people didn't speak English, and so they were literally trying to translate their language to English, and then sometimes things didn't make sense. True. Uh, so it could be that also. But I remember like literally being an adult and being like, oh, Get Down's like super dirty song. I was like, is it? My 12 year old self is destroyed. But I do Legit. remember that in the music video at one point when they're dancing and getting down, Brian is like humping AJ's leg or something. Oh, yeah, he does do that. I remember Gina like pausing the video so we could be like, what is going on right now? Like they were like getting very close dancing. And uh, yes. they probably missed that in editing. This is the first Backstreet Boys song I ever heard, by the way. This was also my first Backstreet Boys song I this ever heard. This does say all the girls this get on your s- knees. Yeah. This is the song. Screamo, that I touch a fan. me, please. Yeah. yeah. 
That's in the rap section. Maybe they're just praying. Yeah. It's oh, not. yeah. I think it, sure. yeah. So this is AJ's big praying. rap section, right? Like, this is his big, yes. like... And he gets Why is that, like, that, that part with the rap. knees, scream, oh, touch me, please? That's not AJ. That's no, the... Um, that's that Mr. Fun Factory guy. with the BSB. Fun Factory. Yeah, Fun, Fun Factory. factory. Yeah. What happened it's to a good Mr. Song. All the girls get on and get down. Smack it up, flip it, and move it all around. That's dancing? Yeah, that's dirty. Why would you smack the penis? Maybe they're cartwheeling. Why would you flip it? Well, I guess you could literally flip. Uh, You know, people break danced back in the day. (laughs) (laughs) Break danced. Wow. That's some good English. All right. (laughs) How do you Smack say break it up, dance? pump it, and move it all over. You just say they were break dancing. Break dancing. Pump it? What do we pump? Oh. Oh. Oh, oh boy. Oh, oh boy. The Backstreet Boys are not as innocent as we <laughs> lead them to What? 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 You have, have to think keep in mind. O-Town yeah. Five? <laughs> you have to keep in mind this is like prime Lou days. This yeah. was yeah. like, Lou, they were the only band Lou had at this time. So he was yes, like, these yes, boys. let's make them sing about this. <laughs> <laughs> so this album was recorded between 94 and 96 and Nick was born in 1980. 80. So, okay, 14 to 16, 14. I guess. It's pretty disgusting. Interesting. Good times. Good times. Oh, Lou. All right. Well, so yeah, thank you for running that the became song. That I became a fan. So, yay. yay. Me too. Good job, Sophia. Me too. Yeah, it's a good song. I like it. I also like it. It's very fun. Cool. Um, so the next one, number four, is I'll never break your heart. I'll never make you cry. I'd rather die then live without you i'll give you all of me honey that's no lie mom hated this song and this is the song that that i stayed a fan i was like yes i chose the right band written by albert mono sorry mano oh mono (laughs) yeah (laughs) uh eugene wilde and um velt wren and timmy allen were the producers Great. Mono, it was this. It's Page. an inside. Whatever. Can you tell us the inside joke? Because none of us are getting the mono it. joke. It was yeah. Diana. Oh my I god, this, it's like, a long romance story. novel, and there was this character named Mono, and it was just really stupid. Oh, thank you. Yes. Okay. And that then was... it wasn't his baby, and then oh, Cynthia that like in the shower, could not get this, over the and fact. Then she came out of the shower, and it was like to Diane. Why wasn't it Mono's baby? Oh, yes, I remember this. And then okay. I bought the prequel book. She and then literally, I like, it would <laughs> be dead having... silence. Like, we were doing random things. Like, we'd be at Walmart, and she'd be like, Why isn't Mono's baby? And I'm like, Oh my God, Chinzia, please. The second get book it, was let about it go. Mono's brother Cal. They live in Hawaii. It's long. It's, it's uh-huh. not, they're not that so good. Then she it's not a good have, book. I have both these romance are, novels if you would like to <laughs> read These are har- Harlequin romance novels. Like, this is not, you know. It's not a good book. Eight, Harry Potter and eight. Okay. Yeah. Anyways, anyways, back to <laughs> the song. I'll never break your heart. I'll Mom hated this song. Do you remember? Was She's this... like, "That's bullshit. That's not bullshit." And I'm like, "Mom, your mom hated a lot of songs. Oh, oh she liked that friggin' Brian Adams song. Oh God, I hate that song. God, that what was that one? You know it's true. That one. It was true. That's a good song. I do it for you. It's not a good song if you hear it fifty thousand times in a day. Well, that's what oh. they play when yeah, it's it good. You play a lot. Anyways, back to I'll Never Break Your Heart. Okay. This is I loved of, it. This was one of two music videos? You yes. did have two music videos. This is one with, with the, the snow, snow one? one. The no, snow it's one. because they released one when they released this album, but then w- they put this song on yes, their that's US why. debut release. And then they were like, for some reason, I guess they were like, Americans can't release relate to turtlenecks and skiing. I we know. need to do this weird ass <laughs> thing oh, where we're like, oh, in the different apartment one? Yeah, yeah, the different apartments. In different apartments and like, oh, Nick has the long hair. Oh, that hair. was disgusting. Oh, Ew, his hair was Okay, nasty. so the I'll Never Break Your Heart was originally released December 13th, 1995. Yeah. Yes. So obviously I think they also went through a little bit of puberty and stuff, so I think that's why they redid it for well, the Well, yes, mm-hmm. I guess yes. they were like, we don't look like that anymore. Yeah, maybe. I like the voice change. Yes. Well. He's taller. Yeah. Uh, we I used like the, the apartment, though, idea when Lydia and I went on our first cruise. That yes. was our, we decorated oh, the yes, door like that. that. Yeah. Was cute. The door, yeah. We didn't Hated win. that video. Yeah. Yeah. yeah no, the second so one, not yeah. the first one. The first one's the first okay. One yeah, the cute. second one we're was ca- kind of like nothing yeah. really. Yeah. Like, yeah. The first Vlog. one was good. Like, yeah, we're Canadian. We like deal. Yeah. We're like, yeah, we can relate to this. Yeah. 
I Turtlenecks, it. love it. Yeah, still another uh, one of the songs that they play all the time. And is this the song oh. that you claim that all men, all learn? men, love this song? Like if, you, like I said this in our like literally episode three, which is just about the Backstreet Boys. If you go to a Backstreet Boys concert, like the, for some reason, this song always hits when the when the guys at the concert are like just drunk enough, mm. and then this song comes on and they like are taken back and they're just like I never break and you're just like serenading and I'm just like whoa bro like Ah! chill I find this song to be boring personally never was a huge fan this is one of the ballad songs that I actually don't don't mind I like it it's and then, like, oh, the part of, at the beginning when Kevin's like, baby, baby. Oh. I know you're hurting. Yeah, that's a little, like, right now, I'm like, oh, my God. <laughs> Please, it's too, it's, too it's too much. It's too much. It's too much. It was creepy, like, yeah. when we it's were young. It's a little young. creepy when we were young. But we're now like, you're like, Ew. Oh, okay. Makes sense now. What was yeah. that song that they made a conversation mix of it? Oh, that's all oh, I, have I have to, to give. give. Oh, that, the first time I heard that, I almost peed my pants laughing That's so, so much funny. Because I had never heard that version before. I've never heard the And I was like, Oh, you're missing now, buddy. That was hilarious. We'll let you listen to it later. Okay. It's, it's really not on this album, right? Okay. Cheese balls. No. no. It's it's so ridiculous. I'm oh my like, God, it's so funny. Hey, I'm so and so. I'm going to do this to you. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, oh, I'll cook you dinner. So I'll hey, oh my God. It's breakfast. so funny. I'll like, make you lunch. I'll do this. And then they're like, whoa, Howie, whatever. And then AG's like, I'll make you breakfast. Oh, oh my God. It's so, so dumb. Yeah. It's so yeah. dumb. It's oh my God. Okay. It's very okay. cheesy. Anyways, because. not on this album. All right. Anyways, look it up, guys. If <laughs> Why you are you heard. wearing It's because like, the sun is like coming into the room. Super right? star. Like, <laughs> these giant like sunglasses. No. With, like, she's Mama Lou. All over it. Superstar Mama Lou. The, we'll close the blinds later. The sun is coming into my eyes. Sorry. Okay. Let me take care of you. Our right superstar cool. over here. Mama yeah, thank Lou. You, thank you. All right. So that was I'll Never Break Your Heart. And then uh, number five is Quit Playing, playing games, games with My Heart. Quit the playing rain video. games with My Heart. Before you tear us apart. You're playing games with My Heart. heart. This is a classic. This is oh my the god! Rain video. Ah uh, yes, yes. The rain. Still um, um, one of my all-time favorite songs. Yes, yes. And, and I believe awesome. the video that launched us all into puberty. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yes. Oh yeah. Wonderful. I'm pretty sure you know at, we were watching this and just like, oh hey, I got my period. What's going on? <laughs> 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 my boobs just grew. Oh God! Whoa, okay, oh, then. God, now I have breasts. What's <laughs> happening? It's magic. Oh well, my God! You, you need the Mama Lou title today. <laughs> oh my God! Well, if you need to thank anyone, you can thank Max Martin and our buddy mm, Kirby. Of course, it's Thanks, Max. Martin. Thank you, Max Martin. Thank you, Max Martin. Produced by Max Martin and Christine London. They hate this London. video because it was too much they beefcake. Do? Yeah, but th- that's what we loved about it. That's oh, wow. it. That's Hello. why they hate it. Oh my God! What I enjoy <laughs> about this song is that it also inspired yes. Backstreet Boys with the Yes. Z. When they made their song. Oh. <laughs> Can we get it together again? And, again? And, 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 and then he had his like this ripper, was, ripper claw and was like yeah. trying to get the basketball. It was, the a, it was a parody <laughs> that was done for like a music uh, it was award. was MTV oh VMAs. My God. Yeah, yeah. And it was. Still my favorite thing. Oh, who were the two guys in Ben Stiller. Ben Thank Stiller you. and Andy. Dick. Dick. Yeah, and yes. Dick. Oh and God, it was, was so hilarious. funny. Oh my god! It was Definitely look times. that up if you guys have time on YouTube. I believe we've posted it before on oh. our page. Um, Those Backstreet bastards. Yeah, <laughs> I say that all the so time. Great. I know. Like, Backstreet such... boys with, with the Z. Z. We're from, from the, the street. street. We, we don't, don't care, care about, about spelling. spelling. <laughs> that was so good. That was so good. Good time. But yeah. it was again way later because, like I said, that was like that had to be '98, maybe. Yeah, I would say so, probably. Like, okay, this but would have been released there. it was such an influential thing. Can you think back to any other music video where men are sexualized like that so much? You're just like, wow, oh, you're it's like <laughs> dripping. You're just like, eh, eh, eh. like, oh my god, oh my god, <laughs> Chizia, you know what I'm talking about. I'm sorry, I'm <laughs> sure there are Chizia's other ones. Licking the microphone. She's no. really into this. What is? Dri- it was really hot. Yes, it, it was, was a really hot. Jesus, yeah. Like Especially women. at that age, you're yeah. like, wow. Like like this women awesome. being sexualized, but like yeah, we see that all the time. Britney Spears, whatever, like blah blah blah. But like men being sexualized like that, that's like Chippendale shit. That was delicious. It, it was, was delicious. delicious. You're right. I just it was great. I was I a, agree, I was it was fan. very good. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, and Lou also owned the Chippendales at that time. Didn't As he? I like, <gasps> I don't know, maybe. maybe. <laughs> <laughs> As I'm saying, listen, it it 97, I was 12 years old. I was also You know 12. what I mean? Like <laughs> What are you crying for? It just it hit well, right I'm at the right time. What I'm saying. 
<laughs> I'm crying with laughter because oh. Lydia is like. It was good shit. It was, it good, was shit. good shit. I agree. So then that would be that if 90s. Oh, okay. So you guys are the same age, right? Gotcha. 12. We're all so the same age. We're all 12. Trend. So I'd have been 15. Except okay. for you. <laughs> Uh-huh. Oh, so deep. maybe that's oh, why it, it didn't hit as well for Chinzia because she know. already passed I know. Yeah. Like, so she was like uh, whatever. this is nothing but I, I saw like, yes. and probably <laughs> she was just maybe this might have been the time when NSYNC was starting to come out and she was like ooh look at that man with ski goggles and dreadlocks <laughs> <laughs> I love, I love, I love Chris so much mock my Christopher as much as you want <laughs> he's wearing no. a toilet sink <laughs> as, a, as a necklace <laughs> Or a toilet the toilet so chain. Attractive. You remember those ball bearing? You remember oh, those? Oh my god! god. <laughs> That's not a toilet. Seat. <laughs> no, the chain. It's a toilet chain. Yeah. Oh jeez! Oh it god. was a style at the time. In case you're a wondering where to find the chain at Home Depot, it's in the plumbing section, not the toilet section. I oh, okay. Right. Anyway, <laughs> what, a, what a strange conversation. Why? We have gone what off the rails. Happen? Literally, how we got from quit playing <laughs> games with my heart to you get the toilet chains at the plumbing section in Home Depot. Amazing. I don't know. It's been a but very long day. Here we <laughs> are. We just it. <laughs> Yesterday was a long day. Okay, oh moving along. Gosh. God bless. Okay, are we good with that? Yes, Do you guys need you. to drip some more? No, 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 no I'm good. It's burned in my memory. It is yeah. burned. <laughs> and then doused with rain. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty, so uh, number six, boys will be boys. Boys, boys will, will be boys. boys. Oh, 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 Uh, so that is written by Jolyon Skinner, mm-hmm. uh, and then Velt Wren, and then Wren, and Mr. Lee were the producers. Thank so you, A lot Lee. of European people. Yes. yes. This is like, yep. Yeah, totally when they were in Sweden. This is not a great song. This is song. an upbeat, upbeat song. It's all right. It's okay. okay. I don't really it's, mind it. It's okay. This is, like I said, now, now we're getting into the second half of the album, the deep cut. The deep cuts. We're getting deeper. I feel like so, the term boys will be boys would not be accepted in Never. Not in, this, yeah. not in today's society. I was going to say, does this play in 2020? Probably no. not. No, There's no reason they don't no sing sir. this anymore. Yes. No, sir. I don't remember most of this. I just literally remember the boys will be boys part. I can't remember any like chorus or anything like that. He's talking to a lady. Was, you got, got something. something. I don't know. Don't look at me. Like I, I don't remember it. <laughs> Sends me into overdrive or something like that. I can't remember the second line. Okay. My heart starts thumping whenever you're around. My whole world's upside down, no. baby. Oh, 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 oh. No, no, then, there's no, a, no then there's a pre-chorus <laughs> okay, s- with Brian. Did I ever tell oh, you Jesus. something like this that? This is not it. It's like, I'm going to a what to your funeral. I'm like, what? <laughs> this is a boys will be a boys by... Baglu, okay, Baglu, sorry. Oh, there's something about you think that we should wait, and then. Okay. But I can't hold on oh, anymore. Oh, so got, my like heart is something. calling for you, so please don't hesitate. Oh. oh, 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 oh. <laughs> yeah. So I yeah, feel like it doesn't play in 2020. Okay, so essentially he wants to have sex. Is that what the song? What? Is? That's yeah. What every song? And about. she doesn't want to, and then he's like, "Boys will be boys. That's what we want. We so, just so, want to get laid." So the boys will hook up yeah. together then. Maybe. That you never cool. know. Why haven't they thought of that too? <laughs> 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 gotta get work on this gay boy band. Okay. On. All right. right then. So yeah, right it's along. Kinda upbeat. I feel like they okay. It sounds like a played, fun song. But yeah, it's eh. okay. It's like nah. it's like maybe rapey. So like you know. Yeah. yeah. I mean, kinda I don't like think Ricky he Jay actually. No means no song. Like no, no, no it's not song. that bad. It's kind of like I want to do this, and she's like no, and he's like boys will be boys. This is what we want. You're gonna like, do it or not? Oh well. <laughs> have fun with yourself. Bye. <laughs> All right, cool. Moving along All to right, a cool. more romantic, uh, just to be close to you. Just, just to be close to you. Closer to you. Closer to you. Just, just to be close. close. Back in the day, this is the one they used to always do a cappella. Yes. yes. So good. Yeah. It's a very good a cappella song. It is. Written good. by Tim Grant and Michael Gray and timmy allen and mookie produced it oh, oh. Mookie. mookie i don't know who this mookie is but i have i had my first radio bff was mookie he lives in Cali. wonderful love mookie um stranger. so like i rip this song off a lot in my relationship i sing this to kenny sometimes and he's like oh you're so sweet babe i'm like yes yes 
<laughs> like what it's, lines it's, do you it's sing? It's not a Backstreet Boys song at all. It's not a Backstreet Boys song, babe. Oh, because it's like, like you know, I'm like, babe, guys, sit on the couch b- beside you. He's like, yeah, sure. And I'm like, like a flower to a what tree. tree. That's how close I want to be. Wop, wop, ooh, to, to your heart. heart, baby, to your heart. Oh. Oh, I just mostly. It's such a I'm good sorry, song. Does he think that you wrote this song? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just like. You just like just to, to be close. I don't know. I just like just want to be close to you. Yeah, I, I say that part, not the flower to the tree part. That's what okay. I was gonna say. Sorry, I just I got strange. excited. I'm like I remember it's a lyric. good song. I do not remember that part. Oh, oh really? A really great no. song. Oh, I was like, it's oh, very okay. sweet. It's very sweet. Nice. So it's and about they sound to be great close. in it. That's Just nice. Do you be close? This is okay. yes, okay. the antithesis to boys will be boys. All right, good. <laughs> yeah, so I just, I just want to sit beside antithesis? you. It's the opposite. Oh, that's like, a cool okay, word. Okay, I tried wanting to tell you that I want to bang you, so instead I'll just want to be close to you. And they're like, oh, and then they bang. Oh God. <laughs> well, maybe, oh, maybe you never know. boys will be boys. Sometimes you don't know. Dramatic. You don't know what's going on. If just to be close didn't really work with closing the deal, the next song is I wanna be bang with you. you. It's crazy, but it's true. Oh, you know it's true. And everything I do, and everything I do, baby. Or some shit. Uh, no, no. I'm yes. thinking of the other song. You okay. bastard. You did tricked I, I... me this morning because you're like, it's not the five song. No, that's not the five song no, either. That's a different this song. This was the oh, I want to have a party. Song. I oh, enjoy it. Or so let's have a party. Have a similar song to this as well. Never mind. No. Yeah. All right, so that is uh, Dennis Pop, Max Martin, Woo-woo. and they also produced it. You can yes. totally tell. Yeah. Um, this one's a banger. It is. Um, it's a good beat. This is, spoiler Dream. alert, although I believe we've already said this several times, this is what they do to open the DNA tour. This is the first, so- well, technically the first song is Everyone, but that they don't really sing. Oh, is that just like Everyone? Playing. That one? Yeah. It's just yeah. playing I love that song. Um, during the video package, kind uh, of. Okay, okay, okay. And then... They come out, and then it's just like, I want to be with you. And then <laughs> we're like, woo mm-hmm. And then people who are not, like, older, ride or dies, yeah. you know, don't know what is are like, on. what is this song? And then uh, the ride or dies are like, yeah, it's crazy, but it's true. You know what? I was late this coming in from single. the pickle barrel. That's yes, why. Yes, and then I had, missed this part. Then yes. I had to go to the washroom, and yes. I was like, yeah, we're I missed it. I do recall... <laughs> That we were we were Sorry. in the we were in like the crowd seats for the Toronto show and a lot of people were turning around to stare at us because we were like <laughs> we were yeah! and everybody was like what the hell is this song and I'm like are we the only like hardcores in this section like what's Ooh, awkward, going on clearly because everybody else had floor seats and we were up in the fucking oh seat. god anyways it's okay. never it's okay. again it wasn't that bad it seats. really was not it was a great seat but it's, it's also fine. we have stupid standards don't worry it's fine it's good it's all good. It's oh, all right. Good. It's all right song. It's all right. Yeah, I like it. It's a good song. Yeah. I thought it was a good jam. All right. So the next song is Every Time I Close My Eyes. Every time I close my eyes, I see your face and I wonder. When you close your eyes, do you think about me? This is like AJ Heavy song. Oh, yes, it was. Yes. Yeah, it's yeah. good. Written by Eric Foster White and produced by Timmy Allen and K fingers. Oh God! K fingers. fingers. Wow! Hey, yeah, amazing. It's a great them. last name. I like it. It's a beautiful song. I like it's it too. Song. It's nice. I, j- I didn't recall it all. But, no. Uh, I had to re-listen to this one, but I was like, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, mostly makes sense. Good. Like I said, we're getting deep into the yeah, the deep cut. the heart cutting, of the you're cutting into those the album mm, now. I mean potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, anything else about this particular song? I no, I got oh, nothing no, else to say about it. Okay, okay, so the next song is Darlin. Darlin, tell me what to do to make things right. Darlin, tell me what to do. <laughs> well, let me tell you. This is a I Brian for a song. Country station for a while. Solo. So when I saw Darling, I thought of Johnny Reed's Darling, and it is not the same song. So, Different But now that you guys sing it, that you understand that. This was written by Timmy Allen and Naneka Morton and produced by Timmy Allen. Wow. Thanks, wow. Timmy. All righty. Great. It was, you know, again, so bad. Ballad, so bad. Yeah. I feel like yeah. they do this it's one. Brian this solo. is another one that they like to do a cappella, like sing that chorus mm, part. It's a good chorus. Um, yeah, it's okay. I said it's the second halfer. It's all good. Yeah. Yeah. All 
Alrighty. Any other nope, No, that's it. Okay, really okay, next, yeah. next one, please. All right. Let's have a party. Let's have a party. You're going to need to sing that one because I kept I know, thinking, I keep it thinking, thinking of the five song. one. So, uh, then, five has a song called Let's Have a Party. Connect me with somebody. Five, 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 five online. online. So, that's the one that's uh, See, head. I didn't know this, and then Chunzia was playing both of them. They sound real similar. Whoa. Um, I mean, the lyrics after. are different, but the sound of the song sounds very similar. And then they have the same title, so I can see how that's com- Confusing. That's why so my brain has meld the songs together. Mm-hmm. So um, mm-hmm. This is the one where literally it sounds like uh, they like, they kicked thirteen year old Nick in the balls, and then oh, we're like, okay, go no sing. This oh. child should not be having a party. <laughs> it's a should birthday be party. A babysitter. Like I don't know if there's some cake or Chuck E. Cheese or something. Oh, cute. But uh, speaking of party, apparently it was a party to write this song because there is a lot of writers. <laughs> oh boy, <laughs> we got Mookie, we got Dave McPherson, Jeff Sledge. Kenyatta Gelbreth, C.J. Trevitt, Kenneth CJ? Gamble, and Not Leon Huff. So there was seven writers for this. Wow. And two Every, everyone wrote like a word hours. each? Yeah, right? <laughs> for real. Yeah. For a song that is only three minutes and 49 seconds. That's a lot of writers. <laughs> so yeah. I guess they had a party and thought, you know, let's have a party. They're let's drunk. write a song. Like, oh, and cool. then they were like, you know what? Let's get that little kid. Get him in here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You young child. <laughs> <laughs> Nick's like, I've been watching you. You've been watching me. I've oh, never been to a party before. Nick, like, <laughs> Brian always makes fun of Nick and like closes, yeah. holds his nose. Yeah, it's pretty funny. Aww. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So I was cute. just like, who is singing this song? <laughs> what is happening? It's so. We were, again, we were listening to these songs earlier because she was like, there's the five song and then there's the song. And I was like, it's so weird to think that we. We're listening to Nick at this age when he was 13 years old singing this song, and now he's 40. Wow. It's <laughs> wow. crazy. Oh the time flew by. Good Lord. Like, I don't understand. We've seen his, heard his voice grow up over the uh, years. But we've also, grown up with him. It's a testament, right? Like, that's yeah. a long time. Like, he's it been is. a Backstreet Boy longer than, than he hasn't life. been. Yes. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. for majority of his life. So it's just like a testament to how long they've been together and just like whatever. But I'm just like, wow, struggles. that's yeah. unbelievable. Beautiful. Like yeah. compare that voice to like anything on DNA. It's like, whoa, is that the same person? Mm-hmm. I don't know. Mm-hmm. But it is. Through th- it's mini and grown up. I know. Aww. Little like chipmunk voice. Little baby Nick. Aww. Now oh. he's the dad. Yeah. Aww. Pancake daddy. Daddy. Daddy, yeah. Anyways, uh, okay. What? Not everyone he makes, knows. He <laughs> makes on Instagram. <laughs> not watch his Instagram. Can lives. you explain Pancake Daddy? He makes pancakes. We came up with him. So he wakes up in the morning when he's at home with his son Odin and gets Odin ready for school, and he makes pancakes for him. Like every day? Not every. Not day. every day. I'm like, Ugh. okay. But then he likes to show us how to make pancakes. Like, like he doesn't bored. actually like know pumpkin, how. Like pumpkin. Like we all know how to make pump, uh, pumpkin. Pumpkin. We all know how to make pancakes at this point in our lives, and. He still clearly is not 100% there because in one of the lives, he's like, guys, how do you get the little bubbles out? Like, I don't want bubbles in this picture. Dude. Oh. Don't say dude. that. On Precious, TV. right? <laughs> yeah. Like, the bubbles are supposed to be there. But, they make but, them fluffy. But in his defense, he's been a Backstreet Boy since he's like 13, 11 or 12. 12. So... Uh-huh. You know, when was he learning how to make pancakes? Yeah. You know, in the tour bus? I don't think yeah, so. Well, I mean, not. like, what did Lou feed them? I, Lou Sausage? Prob- <laughs> Lou. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 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 What is I'm kidding. That was a delayed reaction because I didn't hear you right away. And I'm like, what would Lydia have said that would have, I'm like, ah, sausage. Yeah. <laughs> I'm kidding, obviously. No, they Are probably you? gave Nick a box of Fruit Loops and were like, see ya, buddy. Like, yeah, you know what I mean? True. Probably legit, you legit. Know? Yeah. Oh, I think we forgot to mention that um, in honor of the second leg um, ticket sales, they did a bunch of press as they well. Did? As yes, week. yes. So, in it, in it, one of it was Nick was Brian making was saying pancakes? how he was Nick's legal guardian. So maybe oh, I didn't Brian, know that. Maybe was Brian like, was what? supposed to be making him the pancakes. We that found was weird. that out. Was that a not in the documentary? Ago. No, it wasn't. Possibly either it was in the documentary or when they were doing promo for the documentary. They did yes. some interview and it was mentioned and nobody knew this. And I then randomly they just brought it up. And I remember being like, oh, my God. Like, 
Because Sorry, Brian we're been get, like eighteen. Yeah, eighteen. He said like, it. Yeah. He was eighteen, and he was the legal guardian of Nick, who was like so no wonder thirteen. Frack were like together. Anyways, yeah. um, but and Why this wasn't is super. Kevin his legal guardian, right? It seems Kevin strange. said because me and Howie were at the clubs, and they didn't want. Uh, they uh, wanted someone who would like would actually be there. Um, Makes sense. Does he have AJ too? His art guardian. AJ would have been only one year older than him, or two years, two older, years than older than him. So. I guess they figured Brian was legally an adult. They're like, you're a Christian. Know. You're good. Well, you'll be a good influence. No, but what I was going to say, and again, we're super off track. We'll get back in a second. Oh, shocking. But, <laughs> um, you know, we, like, we talk about people like Nick had a rough life up yes. until, you know what I mean? Yes, he did. And But when you hear stuff like that, you're just like, wow. Like, you don't even know how bad it was because his parents were like, you know what? It's fine. We'll just give legal Let's guardianship see. over to this guy who we barely know. See ya. Yeah. We're going to start no, focusing on Aaron to now. Oh, God. Like, yeah. Oh, no. That was a bad investment. <laughs> 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 I'm, sorry. I'm so sorry. Like, well, like, as an Aaron fan, I can be like, mm. <laughs> Mm, sorry like no but that's like i'm like so you literally just gave up your son for money basically yeah. yes well i mean you know the carters right well yeah i know <laughs> but it's just like when you hear things like that it really like sinks in yeah. and you're like ouchie you know what yeah. i gotta say though yeah. i'm like super shocked that jane didn't make him join the mickey mouse club because that was a guaranteed fifty thousand dollars I feel and like she Lou was stuff. probably she probably swindled. swindled by Lou. Exactly. Yeah, I'm sorry. She probably f- drank the Lou Kool Aid. Yeah. yeah. I would have too. I'm sorry. I mean, it worked it's out. Charming. Really He's like, well. He charming fat so, man. Yeah. He and, made a and, good decision. And honestly, <laughs> even like, f- forget now because who could have known that it would have been last? It would have lasted this long. Mm-hmm. Um, but. Even in the short term, Mickey Mouse Club ended like what a year after that. Yeah. So he would have only gotten yeah. like one yeah. season in. He, he still would have probably made his way to the Backstreet Boys anyway. It could have been or in yeah. sync. or in sync, yeah. but that was a really good alumni. Yeah, yeah, there were yeah. a lot of good people. But pretty much everybody's. Famous. So it's yeah, it stands to reason that he maybe would have made it into one of those bands anyways. Mm-hmm. But um, unless he Ryan Goslinged himself. Oh. Well. oh. He yeah. made that choice, man. That was Ryan Gosling. I'm pretty sure Ryan Gosling is doing very well for him. Well, yeah, he's fine. Yeah, he's I, okay. guess, I guess. <laughs> like movie money is way more than music money, I and think. you have to do less movie. Like you have, le- you have to do less to make movie money. You don't really have to share yeah. that much money with others. Yeah, I feel like definitely, definitely the Backstreet Boys earned their money because yeah. they yeah. like they work hard. Yeah. Yes. Anyways. Sorry, that is like really off topic. But anyways, what? what? Shocking. Nick Welcome was a baby, a little, little, little baby. baby. So that was yeah. let's have a party, right? Okay. Right. So uh, number twelve is roll with it. Roll, roll with, with it. it. Roll with <laughs> it. <laughs> I was hoping someone else would carry the song. That's the whole That's chorus. That's the song. And they just keep repeating roll, roll with, with it. it, and then they, at one point, all you got to do yeah. is roll with it. You got to roll, roll with it. it. Like that's the whole thing. I know. Thing. We were listening. I was like, where is the rest of this song? That's and why awesome. is this song almost five minutes long? Yeah. And Diane's well, like, well, songs were longer in the 90s. I don't know. And that wasn't really a standard at the time. Yeah. Now it's like three minutes, 33 seconds. Beautiful. Oh, we were talking about this, though, in the car, too. Someone was surmising that with streaming and all this stuff that people make songs shorter now so they can get more streams. Mm. Because if you if a song is longer, you're not going to play it as many times. So you're saying that the number sense. one Fool's Gold stream is a shorter song? I don't know. I, I, I swear, <laughs> I think I only listened to Fool's Gold once because you guys made me. Um, <laughs> is that the one where he plays a stupid piano? Yeah, the arm piano. Arm yes, piano. of course. We're talking about Aaron yeah. Carter, by the way. Sorry. Um, your I'm the only yeah, one who brings it, it up all the time. But uh, so I have no idea how long it is, but uh, like they were talking about, feel you know, that people's attention spans in general. Are well, just that's true, too. We but they were talking about the new Jonas Brothers song. The and apparently uh, what a man got to do. Oh, that what, what a man, man got to do. do that you one. don't like that song. Eh, I like Sucker better. Oh, my God. Okay. Sucker good is really good. So good. This is good not the point. OK. The point is that song is only two minutes and something. And people are like, wow, this song is so short. But then it immediately was getting like millions of streams because the, the, the Joe Bro girls were like, again, 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 again. again. And it's, though, it's a shorter song. That you only had to listen to like 30 seconds for it to count. 
Oh, I have no idea. No idea. Anyways. But I'm just saying, if you're like in a mood to play a song over and over and over again, you would replay a two minute and 46 second song more than you would play a five minute and whatever song. Fair Very sees. true. True, true. Math. All right. So the writers Hashtag for that nobody were Joylin, Joyon Skinner, and Velt oh. Ren. And then Ren, Mr. Lee, and Mad Mike were the producers. Yeah. So mad. Roll with Mad it. Mike. Yes. So the last uh, album on Wikipedia's track listing is uh, Nobody But You. Nobody But You. Is that Does anyone goes? know this song? I feel like Ke- this is a Kevin song. Is it Nobody He's... But You? Is it that one? No. No. Shoot. I don't remember how it goes at this moment. Nobody Again. Yeah. Nobody But You. You. And then no, I started thinking about it. the new, like, nobody else, that one yeah, from it, DNA. No. And I was like, wow, Backstreet Boys really like to, like, reuse Use words. Like they do. Well, nobody but you. If you want to look up the lyrics, I'm the looking at doing it right now. Uh, writers were Dennis Pop. <clears throat> sorry, Dennis Pop, Max oh, Martin. And Dennis Herbie Pop and Max Critchlow, Martin song. And then Dennis Pop, Max Martin. Who so. knew? So they sandwich the Dennis Pop songs at the beginning and end of the album. Okay, so it's not Blake Shelton. But I feel like the song... It's uh, not Blake Shelton. Kevin, no. Kevin sings it solo-wise uh, on concert back in the day. I feel like that's the song. Uh, Ain't Nobody Else But You. Yes. says that four times. There's nobody who can make me cry. Nobody can do. Nobody but you. Why do you want to make him cry? No, There's nobody who can make me cry. I don't know. Ain't nobody there else. Be, nobody do you know that song? Gets Dude. The, there is nobody. Okay. You guys came too quickly in the car, and I couldn't listen to this nobody one. Nobody can do nobody but you. I don't know. Oh, that sounds familiar now that Sophia's singing it like it that. Still does Ain't not sound nobody familiar. else but you. Yeah, it goes there like that. Is you. It's kind of mid tempo. can make me lie. I don't, I don't know. I have no idea. I have literally no idea. What nobody you but you. Are you yeah. sure we had this song? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay, um, okay, can I play like a quick play? No. No, I don't wanna, no copyright strikes here. I don't want to pay money. Yeah, fair enough. Okay. Especially not for that song. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm kidding, eh? If I'm paying money for songs, shit. We're starting with Boys in the Band. Yes. We yes. like the boys. boys. The, the boys, boys in, in the, the band. band. All right. Okay. All right. So that was that album. Do you want me to do a quick of um, the different editions? What other songs were on there? Sure. And if, if any of these songs trigger your but mind. But do it fast because yes. we're at 56 minutes. Okay. Yeesh. So Australian, that is not an Australian. Um, <laughs> I had I'll Never Break Your Heart European radio edit. They had an album medley, which was Anywhere For You, I'll Never Break Your Heart, and Just To Be Close. Uh-huh. They did Quit Playing Games acoustic version. We've got it on. We've Mar- got it on. We've got it <laughs> going on. Okay. Sorry. Thank you. Market, oh, wow, Marcus music. Deadly. Vocal Marcus hot mix. Deadly. Ooh. I only read that as right? Hot Tub. It's not. It was a oh hot my. mix. And then Don't Leave Me. Do you guys know Don't Leave don't Me? Don't Leave Me. Don't no. Leave Me, please. No, I no, don't. I have no I don't idea. I've never no heard idea. that song, but it's the last song, so I feel like that's a nice way to end it. Okay, with that. sure. Okay. Uh, the European <laughs> version and Netherlands special edition also had Don't Leave Me, so I guess we will listen to the song later. Uh, we've got it going on Marcus Radio Mix. I Want to Be With You, Amanders Club Mix. Amanders. I, I don't know. Okay. Um... Japanese edition had Lay Down Beside Me. Ooh. The song. You lay down, lay down beside me. You and then like AJ hugs the floor. Inside inside me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, whoa. Are AJ get solo songs about him having sex? You too. Yes. Yes, yes. yes they are. Um, Give Me Your Heart. Does anybody know I've that song? No, that never. Song. Okay, so that's Japan. The UK special edition has Don't Leave Me, Give Me Your Heart, Lay Down Beside Me. Uh, limited edition for Spain and Latin America, Donde Quesare Yorio. I cannot say what? that. Something Anywhere here. for you in Spanish. Oh. Interesting. Donde Quesare. I don't know. Can don't you know. show me? I can maybe find out. <laughs> Come over here and use my microphone. <laughs> don't walk that way. Don't walk okay, that no, way. Don't walk that way. I will spell yeah. it for you. Okay. D-O-N-D-E. Donde? Uh, Q-U-I-E-R-A-S. Curias? Y O Yo I R E Ire. Okay. Donde okay. Quesare Excellent. Koli. And they also uh, had maybe Nunca Ti oh. Hare Lorer. Wow. Oh, I cannot say that okay. either. That is I'll Never Break Your Heart in Spanish. 
Okay. Yep. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Nice. 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 Right, we version, don't speak. We had all of the songs that we all the talked songs. about, <laughs> minus a few. Uh, Italy had Noni Poi Lashki Così. Nonni poi lasci così. Which was the Italian version of Quit Playing Games with My Heart. Non ti lasci così. Non ti lasci. Yeah, I have no idea. Everything else looks I've the never same. Heard it. Okay. Oh, right. We've heard it. I've heard okay. it. Yeah. And then there was some B-side slash unreleased songs. Mm. Um, there's one called Tell Me That I'm Dreaming. Does anybody know that one? Tell Me That I'm Dreaming. About well, Fruit Loops. the interesting part about that song uh-huh. is that the writer is... Louis J. Perlman. No, oh, of course it it. Oh, I'm He's really dreaming crazy. about you know what. Ah. Tell me that I'm dreaming. So we definitely need to hear that song oh later my God. as well. Um, oh dear. Another unreleased song was I'll Never song? Find Someone Like You. Who wrote know. it? No idea. Oh. Uh, who wrote it? Gary <laughs> Baker and <laughs> Wayne Perry. Oh, Jesus. Uh, okay. Then another one was Happy Valentine. Cute. Did not know they had a Valentine's Day Same-sies. song. I didn't know that. Uh, it has no writers. It's in Europe? Uh, it just says B-side slash unreleased oh, songs. Oh, gotcha. That's probably one. Um, roll with it, radio edit, by my side, by my side. No, and no, end no, of the mean. road. Uh-huh. Uh, but I believe this is a cover end because it is written by Kenneth Babyface Face Edmonds, Antonio L.A. Reed, and Daryl Simmons. So that's the, um, what is that, Boys to Men? Mm. Who's I, I don't know. I don't know. Yes, uh, yes, road. it is. Yes, boys to men. You're right. Yes, you're. T- yes. Oh, the song. Yes, but is that the same song? Well, I don't that's know. That's the writers. So I think so. I guess oh. they must have done a cover or released it somewhere or something. So yeah, I think so. Until we go. In Canada, it came. It peaked. This album peaked at number one. Woo! Canada. Also number one in Germany, Canada, and Hungary, nice. Malaysia, Swiss. Taiwan and then uh, is there nothing Austria. on the U.S. Well, no, oh, no because Canadian this one wasn't sorry. the U.S. one. So the right. U.S. one. Sorry, I forgot. Um, did we already? I think we had all the track listings. I they forgot. Were the same. Yeah, Sorry. we're good. Did we? No more track listings, please. Yeah, we're good. <laughs> Set adrift on memory bliss. Yeah, that one is not a good That's song. That's an unreleased too, isn't it? Though no, because this is the U.S. So I'm just gonna give you the U.S. Backstreet Boys track listing okay. really quick. Okay. No. Th- We've got it going on. Quit playing games with my heart. As long as you love me, all I have to give. Anyway, for you. Hey, Mr. DJ, keep oh playing. Oh, my God, this I love that. Mr. DJ, keep playing this song for me. Okay. Excellent. That's I'll never one. break your heart. Darling, get down. You're the one for me. Set adrift on memory bliss. That was all right. I've heard that song, I've but it's not a good too. song at all. Yeah. Um, and then the Backstreet Boys' favorite song. Oh my oh God! Yes. If, if you, you want it to be good, girl, get yourself a bad boy. Hold on, maybe then, did we get that? Uh, we got that song. So we yeah, got them. yeah, we got that song. Album. Mm. And then they got re- out, and also the '98 release was the Everybody Backstreets Back. So did we get that on Backstreet Back? Did, we did get an album. I feel, I'm so I feel confused like I got that to us as w- what Chinzi is doing at this point. Because I'm telling you what the Backstreet Boy album in the States was just called Backstreet Boys 1997, that one. So yeah, but we'll review with that album at another time. But I'm saying this is the album, so you're good. We're good. Okay. So if the Americans are confused as to why we have different songs, that's why. Ah, Thank you okay. so much. Great. Cool. Woo! Anything on that else? note. One minute and two. Uh, two uh, one minute. One hour I was like, wow, minutes. we only did one minute and two One seconds. hour and two minutes. Wow, we flew. Listen, about people it. like our Backstreet Boys episode. So That's true. Don't forget to subscribe to us at Boy Band Break. And how do you spell it? B O Y B A N D B R E A K. Woo, good job. Uh, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Gmail, all the social YouTube, guys. YouTube, yes, yes go YouTube. check us out on Thank YouTube. You, Lydia, for we have a lot up. of our episodes no up. We should have them all up soon. So yeah, go check them out. Woo! All right, thanks for taking a break with us, guys. Until next time, thanks for listening. Bye.